Part 2, Sentence Structure. There are different kinds of sentences, such as simple, compound, complex, and compound complex. A compound sentence is two simple sentences connected by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. Let's take a look at this. This is the basic formula for a compound sentence. Simple sentence, coordinating conjunction. Simple sentence. There are two sentences connected by a coordinating conjunction. These are compound sentences. My family goes camping every summer is the first simple sentence. The conjunction and joins them. And the last simple sentence is we usually have fun. And it reads, my family goes camping every summer, comma, and we usually have fun. Let's continue. Last year we went camping at Blue Lake, comma, but we had a terrible time. But in this example is showing two opposite feelings and or directions. Next year we will go to the beach, comma, or perhaps we will stay at home. The coordinating conjunction or in this example is giving you choices. We want to buy a house, comma, so we need to save money. You can't do one without the other. So joins coordinating, <coughs> so joins simple sentences which rely on one another. Command sentences can also be compound. Remember that the subject you is not expressed in commands. Simple sentence, come visit us again soon, comma, and bring your family with you. Have a good time, comma, but don't stay out too late. In command sentences, you is invisible. Because it is not expressed in commands, it is implied. It is the invisible meaning. Here are three important points to know about compound sentences. A comma and a coordinating conjunction connect the two halves of a compound sentence. There are seven coordinating conjunctions in English, for an, nor but, or yet, and so. Remember them by fanboys. In this book, you will practice four of them, an, but, or so. Let's look at fanboys. F stands for for, and stand, A stands for and, N stands for nor. B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, and S stands for so. Fanboys, for and nor, but or yet, and so. Don't confuse a compound sentence with a simple sentence that has a compound verb. The first sentence in each of the following pairs of sentences is simple and doesn't need a comma. The second one is compound and requires a comma. Simple versus compound sentences. Let's take a look at the examples. We have simple sentence with compound verb. The formula for this is subject, verb, verb. Let's take a look. My family goes camping every summer and usually has fun. Next we have a compound sentence. The formulas are subject, verb, comma, and subject, verb. Let's take a look. My family goes camping every summer, comma, and we usually have fun. Now we have a simple sentence with a compound verb. The formula is subject, verb, verb. Last year we went camping but had a terrible time. And now for compound sentence, the formula is subject, verb, comma, but, and a subject verb. Let's take a look. Last year we went camping, comma, but, everyone had a terrible time. Now, simple sentence with compound verb. What is the formula? Subject, verb, verb. Let's take a look. Next year we will go to the beach, or perhaps stay at home. And compound sentence for the last example, the formula is subject, verb, comma, or subject, verb. Next year we will go to the beach, comma, or perhaps we will stay at home.